Hello, everyone. Today, let me introduce you how to use Doc Compose to install Jupyter Lab. Jupyter Lab is my favorite editor for data analysis. It is actually an alternative to uh, Jupyter Notebook. It also belongs to Jupyter Project. Compa compared to Jupyter Notebook, it is more user friendly and also powerful and flexible. Normally, you should only install Jupyter Lab with pip install Jupyter Lab and then start it. But since they have already an official Jupyter Lab doc version, why don't you use it? Let's open Doc Hub. In the Jupyter Doc Doc Hub official account, there is a data scientist notebook version which has already installed all the common data science package for you. Let's use this image to install our Jupyter Lab. Basically, there are following steps to do. So I suppose you have already installed the Docker. And then you um, create a folder for this project. Go into this folder and create a docker compose yml file. And then run this docker compose file. After the docker lab started, you um, change the password for the Jupyter lab. Then it is actually already finished. You can uh, use the Jupyter lab as you will. Then after the use, usage, you uh, stop the Jupyter lab and uh, restart it. That's all. So let's begin. At first, start the file browser and uh, create a directory for this project. Let's call it uh, Docker. And then make a subdirectory. Let's call it um, Jupyter NB. Now we can make the docker compose yml file in this subdirectory. We use the um, text editor and uh, call it docker, docker compose yml. Let's open it with text file editor and uh, copy the code I have already done. Um, so see, um, this is the code you need to write. You can also download this code in the below um, video description. Let me explain this code shortly. The first is the first line is a version. You can specify it with three. Then the second is the services. Um, we here write the Jupyter because we have only one service. And uh, the next line is image. The image is a Jupyter Data Science Notebook latest. The next is the ports. We need to specify the um, ports of the Jupyter Lab. The 10,000 is the uh, um, port on our host. 
and the 8888 is the port um, of the docker. So next is the volumes, which store the data on your local computer. Here I created a volume named Jupyter Data Scientist. You can also change it to a directory in your local computer. Then is a column. After the column, it is a um, directory, home, your VM work. Uh, this is a directory in the Docker container. You are not allowed to change this this directory. Keep in mind. The next row is a container name. I want to call it Jupyter. After that, this is a um, environment parameter, and uh, this is very important. Jupyter enable lab. You should give yes, and this will allow the Jupyter lab to start. Okay, that's all the important things. Um, let's um, start this doc compose file. So let's go to um, start the docker. We use the doc terminal. It take a little time in my Windows. Um, we see, we can see here is IP address 192.168.99.102. This is very important. Write it down. Then we go to the directory we just created. CD, um, Docker, uh, Jupyter, NB. Then uh, list the content, ls, we see the file. Then we need to um, run the most important command, docker compose up. Yes. Now the um, JupyterLab started. So let's go to um, let's go to our Jupyter Lab. Do you remember the num uh, the IP address we write down? Yes, this one, and also the port ten thousand, which we specified in our um, in our Jupyter uh, in our Docker Compose. Website started. We thought that it require a password token. Then we go to the console. We will see the token here. Just uh, copy it, and uh, we can um, put it either in the either in the password token or set up a password. I prefer to set up a password. Otherwise, you have to copy and paste the token every time when you start the Docker container. Just paste the token here and set the new password, blah, 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 and log in. Now um, we successfully logged in the Jupyter lab. Let's play around and um, go into the work and create a iPython notebook file. 
and rena rename it as um, test. Um, for example, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2, a plus b is equal to 3. Okay, nice. Now, um, after the usage, um, we want to quit. Let's go to the terminal. Stop the, the Jupyter. And we run the docker command. Docker compose. Stop. This command uh, stop the container, but uh, keep everything. For example, your settings. When in the next day, you want to use it again, just go to the directory and input docker compose start. Then we uh, successfully started the Jupyter lab. Go into the um, IP address and the uh, 10,000 port. Input the blah blah password, log in. Wait, wait. Yeah, we see um, everything is here. Wonderful. That's all. In the next video, I will show you how to do the basic settings of the Jupyter Lab, so it will be more comfortable for you to use. Um, for example, the colors and the extensions. Thanks very much for the watching. See you next time.